Hi friends, um, <clears throat> there's a few things I wanted to share, so I just wanted to get on here and begin to share them because there's quite a few things I have, so I'll probably make two videos. Um, so I just want to share, like a couple of them are, are kind of dreams, actually a few of them are dreams. Um, yeah, so I'm going to share what I have. I've I've wrote them in order in my journal anyway, so I'm going to go through them and I just wanted to release them to you. So the first one um, I got on the 15th of March 2019 and it was like a very, it was just like a tiny kind of dream. It was in the, in, in my dream in the middle of the night and I kind of woke up out of it and I remembered it. So uh, what it was basically, oh, close enough here. Um, as I, I just read it out, the other night, 14th of March uh, 2019, sorry, it was 14th. As I was sleeping, I saw or kind of felt something being released to the earth from space. God released it, and I believed it was an asteroid or a meteor hurling at a great speed. I felt it was released to fall towards the earth in a split second. It's a fireball, and it was like you release a catapult, was the feeling. So it felt like um, what I what I really saw was it was like, um, this this asteroid or whatever was being held back. It was like an asteroid or a planet or something, and it was kind of held back with tension on it, and then it was released. It was like the Lord just released it, and when the Lord released it, it just took off like you know, like a ball in a pinball machine, and it became um immediately became a fireball, and I just saw that being released. So that was one one thing that I saw that was on the fifteenth of. Well, I recorded it on the 15th of March, um, but it was the 14th I received it. So on the 4th of April, um, um, let me see, sorry now. Yeah, I had two dreams, right, on the 4th of April. So the first one was, um, I was walking along with two people that I'm very close to, and the one of the per people beside me, um, dropped their bag in front of me so that I nearly tripped over. So I, I just turned to the person and said, please don't do that because you'll make me trip up and fall. And um, this person just didn't care. And this person is actually quite close to me. So anyway, um, then the other person on the right hand side of them, because there's another person with us, and this person is very close to me as well. She overtly began to mock me, like really, really mock me in a very provocative type of manner. She was, you know, laughing and scorning and making fun of me. So, so much to the point that I got enraged actually. And I, and I um, jumped, I grabbed her by the lapels and I started to scratch her, right? And um, so next thing she changed and it was just a shape of her face. And then there was like these um, numbers going across, you know, um, her face. It was like an AI or like a robot or something like that. And immediately I felt the Lord say to me, society is being so manipulated and going to become so manipulated that the mockery towards Christians is going to greatly increase. It's going to be continually increasing. <clears throat> I think we can see that already, but it was just like a, I suppose a confirming thing from the Lord. Um, let me see. The second one, a dream I had um, the same night. I was in the in street again and next thing chaos broke out on the street and I don't know where I was. I think I was in America. Um, I think I was, but I'm not, I couldn't be a hundred percent sure. So anyway, so I think I, my sense was like, it was like an, um, I think it was an economic collapse. That's what I think it was. But anyway, people were really panic stricken and confused and lost and you could like just see they were just frantic everywhere everywhere was frantic people were frantic and I had all of a sudden I I was just enveloped in this peace like supernatural peace it was just amazing um peace and it was like I was in a big bubble of it and nothing was affecting me nothing was moving me nothing was shifting me I was just soaking in this supernatural, you know, God-given peace. It was just amazing. It was incredible. 
and um, and I began to wake up from my dream and actually I didn't want to wake up from my dream because the piece was just so amazing it was just so nice you know um so that was my second dream and then I just have been receiving a few uh, other things um Zephaniah chapter 1 14 to 16 it's another scripture about a watchman again that I felt the Lord kind of highlighted to me so I still feel this is the era of the watchman you know at the moment um I just feel he's just been encouraging me with that to to be the watchman then on um Isaiah um 21 I have two verses here I don't know really why but anyway ch chapter 21 6 to 9 and verse 8 to 9 in Isaiah and it says and behold here comes a chariot of men with a couple of horsemen and he answered and said, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, and all the graven images of her gods he has broken onto the ground. And uh, that kind of just, again, it's just like God just keeps highlighting these um, scriptures to me. Um, so, yeah, that was what, what I wanted to share anyway, those kind of few little bits. Um, I have... I have more to share. I have another two things that I want to share that are quite important. So I'm going to actually do another video so I don't make it this one too long. So um, thank you, my friends. Thank you for all your support and uh, thank you for your prayers. Um, I'll be back soon.